2014 Consumer Electronics Show officially kicking off in Las Vegas. Our gadget guy, Mike Yanni, right in the thick of it. Mike, you're like a kid in a candy store joining us live from the showroom floor. That's right. You know what, Ted? This is the calm before the storm. Within a couple of hours, tens of thousands of people are going to be pouring out here looking for the latest and greatest tech. You know what? This is kind of panic mode now. The booths are all still setting up. We've got forklifts going. People are furiously, they're vacuuming. They're doing sound checks. It's a busy, busy place because people want to find the latest and greatest tech. And you know what? I did find some cool stuff even before the show floor opened. So you know what? I'm going to get right into it. Ted, this is a problem we all have with our smartphones. If you have a smartphone, you know that the screen is grubby, it's grimy, it harbors bacteria, right? Well, Corning has come out with new Gorilla Glass. Gorilla Glass is that really strong glass. Uh, it's been out for a couple of years, but they've come out with antimicrobial Gorilla Glass. The idea is they actually put silver ions now in the glass, and so your smartphone, bacteria can't grow on it. This is something that's coming to smartphones later on this year, so I, I like that. I think a lot of people are going to like that technology. Wearable tech, it is the buzzword here on the show floor, but the ladies out there, they look at it and they say, you know what, it's big, it's bulky, those smartwatches, they're not built for women. Sure. Ladies, take a look at this. <laughs> this looks like a piece of jewelry. Do you know what this is, Ted? No. Any, any what, is, what is that? What is, is, okay. is, it, is it like this, a, is it some sort of texting thing or what? No. Surprisingly, no. It actually is a UV sensor. Oh. So you wear this outside and it actually tells your smartphone when you've had enough sun. Maybe it's going to say lather up with some sunscreen or get the heck out of the sun you've had too much so it monitors that it's going to sell for a hundred dollars it's coming to canada this spring so i think the ladies i think they're gonna like that because they're not gonna be embarrassed to wear something like that yeah so that, it's called that June. looks nice yeah comes out uh, this spring it's called june okay the guys are going to like this this is you know wearable tech wearable entertainment this is from sony this is their wearable hd tv they've, they've <laughs> had this out for a couple of years but they've made some changes so I'm looking into basically it simulates a 720 inch screen. What? So that's pretty cool. 7.1 surround sound, virtual surround sound. You can see, oh, see, busy place. Um, but they're working on a sensor to add on to this. So when you look around, your picture changes. And so you're really immersed right into the, cool. the picture. Isn't that amazing? And it's portable too. Look at this. Here's your power. You can hook up your tablet or anything into that. You're on the go. About $1,300. This is available now, that sensor that they're still working on. Uh, give it some time. Yeah. I know you don't need this, Ted. You've got some good hair, but this, you can consider this wearable tech. Let me find the little pack. I'm going to turn this on. This is for the, uh, let's say, follically challenged. <laughs> you heard about laser grow, laser treatments and yeah. you have to go to a clinic. This is the home version. <laughs> it's called iGrow and I know it looks sexy. I know it looks sexy. <laughs> uh, it has headphones so I can listen to tunes as I'm sitting down. You know, um, I can... <laughs> Ridiculous with the song. <laughs> oh, I know. You, what are you, it's like a hydroponic slash sunlight thing going exactly. on or something. Yeah. 25 minutes every second day, and apparently not only can it re-stimulate growth, apparently it can also take the gray out of your hair. Whoa, that's what I need. Yeah, in the comfort of your own home, I wouldn't wear this in public. I don't recommend. <laughs>